Hello everybody, Game Cooker US Rocks here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about my title, Investing in VR. Um, can save you money. As you can see here, there's a game called Cyberpunk VR. Um, you know, where you can knock around the ball to each other. So you don't have to go to the court to do it. You know, you can just get a friend or play the AI and get your exercise that way. Um, that could save you some money. Um, Pierhead Arcade is another one where you can go to the uh, beach arcade and play bowling and uh, play some of the arcade games that you used to love when you went to the beach. Um, you know, they keep working on that game and it keeps getting better and better. You know, you got all the games that you, you enjoy. Here you got a game, uh, Exodus, or Rexodus, um, where you actually be become part of the, the movie itself. So, you know, instead of going to the movies, you can be in the movie. <laughs> so, you know, that's something, again, that can uh, save, you get, save you lots of money, you know, something you can do with the family. Um, another game here is Hordes, where instead of looking at the action, you can be part of the action. And everything is very cinematic and very clear. You know, and you get a few scares. <laughs> um... You know, I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible, so I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little fast. Um, this is all new and experimental to me, so this is still continuing to be hordes. You know, you can play with a teammate, too. Um, so, you know, this gives you a little workout also with the range of motion, and, you know, it's 360 degrees in virtual reality, so, you know, you're always constantly turning and looking. Um, they have other games like um, Miniature Golf, um, this Cloudlands VR Mini Golf gives you some pretty complicated courses to do. Um, so, you know, that's also pretty fun and it saves you again money going to the mini golf course. This one's Quiver. You can, uh, it's a game where, you know, you kind of got to shoot enemies with your bow and arrow. Uh, but again, instead of going to the shooting range, you can go here. You know, and you can still get in co op with somebody too. And most of all, you have Pool Nation VR, so instead of going out and buying a, a couple thousand dollar pool table, you can do it in the luxury of your own home without even having to buy a pool table. So, um, I'm going to continue talking in just a minute. Okay, game cooker here by the pool, as you can see. So I just got done talking about a few things. Um, I won't make this video real long. Um, but, you know, if you've been on the fence about virtual reality and um, whether it's worth the investment or not, um, you know, you can't really look at virtual reality as a gaming console or, you know, um, a gaming hardware piece, um, you really have to look at virtual reality as an experience, um, a new way of doing things, so to speak, um, you know, so it's almost like you know, if you wanted to buy a car or a house or a boat, um, you know, all those things are going to change your life in some way. Um, and so will virtual reality. Virtual reality will do that also. Um, you know, of course, you know, it can change your life in a negative way if you don't use it uh, properly. Um, but, you know, outside of that fact, since anything can be abused, um, look at it as an experience. Look at it as a new way of doing things. Look at it as entering a whole new world. Um, you know, because if you want to go to the shooting range, you can do it in virtual reality. 
If you want to do archery, you can do it in virtual reality. Um, if you want to go to the movies, you can do it in virtual reality. Um, you know, if you want to play air hockey, you can do it in virtual reality. Um, as you saw the picture earlier of the pool table in Pool Nation VR, they now have air hockey um, as well as having a pool table. So instead of going out and buying an air hockey or pool table, you know, you can purchase, you, you can just play the game. You can even use your own table now um, in your house to uh, act as a pool table. Um, of course, they have other applications that you can use it for, which is designing. Um, drawing, you know, um, they have graffiti programs now that you can create things in that. Um, you know, they have uh, several other uh, artistic programs out there. They also have um, sound creation programs, um, you know, where you can make your own samples, you know, and let them be played back. Um, by using virtual instruments. Um, I didn't include everything in the beginning, you know, all the screenshots for every game that's out there, but, um, you know, because the biggest expenses are going to be pool table, air hockey table, sound systems, you know, stuff like that, studios, you know, you, you can have a virtual studio, you know, where you can create music and, and uh, you know, drumming sounds and instrumental sounds um, you know you do have the game design aspect of it too like the Unreal Engine um, if you are, you know familiar with game design you know they have built-in um, Vive support in that so that you can create your game in virtual reality which is pretty awesome um, so what I'm speaking of here when I say virtual reality, I'm saying I'm really speaking of not the Oculus Rift, not, you know, um, Google Cardboard, um, but I'm talking about room scale. Uh, right now, the HTC Vive gives you full room scale. Um, you know, it is a, it is a, what you could say, a large investment, but... I don't know why people are even talking about the investment cost because, you know, parents didn't have a problem buying an Xbox, a PlayStation, um, you know, an Xbox 360, you know, um, PlayStation 3, you know, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, you know, all those things costed several hundred dollars, you know, especially if you, if you bought a bunch of games with them. And accessories so um, I don't really see why it's a big deal you know if you're gonna spend money on anything that has to do with entertainment in the home whether it's a new TV a new stereo system you know whatever you're gonna be spending hundreds of dollars so you know the VR headset with the motion controllers and the lighthouses you know um, it's not a toy you know everybody looks at it as a toy but it's not really a toy um, it's a very advanced piece of hardware um, now of course you need a good uh, what you would say a fairly decent PC uh, you don't even need like a top-of-the-line PC that's not even true I, I've already encountered in forums many people using well below spec um, in VR now it's not recommended of course um, but you know if you have a high powered old school system at least that's a few years old um, no more than that you can probably play VR as long as you got a you know decent enough graphics card um, so is virtual reality worth the price yes is it worth the investment yes is virtual reality going to save you money if you like entertainment yes you know um, if you like music and being artistic um, can it save you money there well I believe soon it will um, because they're coming out with more and more uh, programs 
outside of gaming. Um, they also have other um, experiences that you can um, get into um, where you can watch um, humanitarian clips, um, rock concerts, you know, or not any kind of concert, music concerts, um, music videos, um, you know, it's really just on and on and on. They're going to be making movies that are in 360 degrees now. Um, so, you know, you might be spending 800 for the Vive. You might be spending, um, well, now you only need to spend about maybe five or 600 for a computer that runs VR with the new video cards out now. So, so even buying, even making a computer is not really a big deal. Um, so, you know, you're talking about a $1,400 investment. That's not bad at all to be able to do a very decent VR experience now. So, um, you know, you're going to save a lot of money in the long run, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're not the type of person that says, well, in order for me to shoot a gun, I have to have a real gun. In order for me to play pool, I have to have a real pool table. You know, if I, if I want to play foosball, I got to have a real foosball table. You know, well, you're entitled to that. <laughs> um, but is it necessary now? Not really. Not at all. Because we have virtual reality. So, anyway, uh, this is uh, pretty long right now. So, I'm going to end it here. Anyway, that was just my thoughts for this week. Um, because, you know, I was playing a game this week and I'm going, you know what? Virtual reality is saving me a lot of money. Because I don't have to buy certain things. Um, because I can do it in virtual reality. <laughs> so, you know, I just thought that that was pretty fascinating. Um, so anyway, save up. Go out and get a virtual reality headset. HTC Vive is recommended if you want a full, full room school scale experience. Um which is really what I'm referring to when I'm talking about all these things. Um, somewhere down the road, I might be going to an expo and going to show off my virtual reality headset to anybody who may not have tried it. I'll keep you posted on that if I'm actually going to do that. Um, because somebody I knew went to an expo in Japan and he brought his virtual reality headset and his computer and he said he was the only one there you know that was showing off virtual reality which was kind of surprising especially in Japan um, I would have thought that the, that would have been a number one priority there but I guess not um, so I'll try to keep you posted on that and let you know where I'll be and if you're in the area you can certainly come by and say hi um, you know, I know I'm not that popular, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I told you that I like to do honest videos, and here I am, you know, just a regular guy, sharing my thoughts with you, so, thank you very much for watching, and take care, and enjoy your video.